Hello again everyone and welcome back to Oblivion. We are back here uh, in Coral and last episode we did uh, swipe Francois Mottiere with the uh your mum uh <laughs> i didn't say that um yeah we did swipe um francois mossiera with the langawine blade and we have faked his death we just need to wait a day to find mossiera's body at the chapel uh but for the time being we need to go and speak to the the count i think i, I believe it's the countess of coral this one is um Yes, it is. Good. Welcome back, my friend. It is quite nice to see you again. I've warned my people to stay inside the walls and put my guard on full alert. There's nothing else we can do. It is fashionable to make fun of Breville and Regulus Terentius. Personally, I think it is poor sport to mock the poor and disadvantaged. I'm sorry, but why are you almost glowing yellow? Like, 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 seriously, your 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 skin your skin cannot be a healthy color. Like, you're not even tanned. You're you're you're, you're literally luminous. Are you okay? Seriously though, can, can you send soldiers to Bruma, please? While I understand Bruma's need, Coral's own defense must come first. I cannot spare any soldiers as long as Coral remains under threat from the Oblivion Gate outside our walls. Knows it. I shall, I shall go and take care, of the, take, take care of the Oblivion Gate then. I spoke to the Countess of Coral. She said she would be glad to send help if only her own city wasn't threatened by an Oblivion Gate. I should close the gate outside Coral and talk to the Countess again. Let's go and do that now. Let's go and close another blasted Oblivion Gate. And I hope Hides' heart is not going to appear randomly here. The guy who was also sent to kill Francois Mottiere. Hmm. I th I think he's just despawned. I think. I hope. I hope he has. Right. Let's go and let's go and bonk some more Daedra. There we go. So that is just the beginning of the swathe of enemies I'm, I'm about to face, no doubt. Right. Let's get to grips with where we are. So... There's... It looks like four towers that all lead to the main... The main tower. I can't go straight on. But I can go around by the looks of things. All right, get Chivalized Heart. Typically, they've got a minefield here. Because why wouldn't they? Uh. Okay, so let's go and go around. I'm not sure which way is the best way to take. Let's just try and ignore these stupid towers. Yes, throw a fireball at me. Door to the tsunami. Okay. One dead kid marcher. We've almost got full capacity as well, so... Good stuff. I think there should be like a a, a lever or a or a mechanism up here, if memory serves. Yes, there we go. Uh, well, there is a mechanism in a sense. Oh, there we go. I've opened I've opened the tsunami gate. Is that evident out here? I mean, as far as I can see, 
I can just go straight to the Oblivion Gate, right? Can I not? Does this not lead right to the Sigil Stone? Oh no. No, no it doesn't. Right, okay. I I see. I see, I see, I see. Right. Um, okay, okay. Don't know which way is the best way to go from here. I mean, I'm assuming all these towers are going to have a form of mechanism in, in, in them to open the gates. I've opened the landslide gate. Good. Those two gates are still clearly closed. I don't know where the gates are that I've actually opened. I've gained some level. Yeah, and sneak. Sneaking everywhere. Oh, no. Oh, dear God, help me. Oh, shit. I've fallen off the edge. I'll tell you what, we might be able, to, we might be able to, make, to make the most of this. This is going to be absolutely scamming it again. But we might... <sighs> so cheap. Like, it is so cheap how we've basically just jumped down here. But, I think it may it may work out for us. I didn't intend to do that. That was not my that was not my intention. It seems like it's it's worked out for us, I think. Let's just go up here now and see if to be honest, we may have already actually activated the, the, the gate that's in here. I can't remember which tower we went into. I'm sure we'll find out in a second, though. So there is a door there. Does that mean there's no door at the top? Chivalry! You prick! To be honest, from what I can actually see here, there doesn't seem to be a mechaniz mechanism in here at all. Like, unless I'm being blind, it literally does not look like there is actually one uh, here right now. Which is curious. Hello. There we are, we got him. Oh, oh, there is actually a door to the rending holes here. Now, does this take me up or does this take me down? That, that is the question on, on my mind. We're getting attacked by a lot of Jamora at once here. Jamora Caitiff? Who the fuck is a Caitiff? Have I fought one of them before? I don't recognise them. Well, we've chopped down them... Like, there's no tomorrow. Let's keep at them anyway. Uh, right, this this goes up, which is a positive sign. Going up is always good. Jesus Christ. Right, we need to avoid all these swords if possible. There we go, we got him. We're so, so close to having full inventory capacity now as well, so we need to go and visit Nilfus once we're out of here. Alright. So we're back here. This this is still promising though. We're still going upwards, so I th I think we've stumbled upon the correct uh, the correct path. Whether it is by pure accident, it might be.
Right, let's keep on creeping. Oh, and there's just... There's just a Dramora just staring directly at me. Into my soul as, as, I, as I come up the stairs. <laughs> Oh god, we have we have over encumbered ourselves big time there, have we, haven't we? Um let's drop one staff and then we'll just try and make sure not to pick anything else up while we're here. Unless we find something very valuable, which I don't think we will. Hmm no. Let's leave all that stuff. We don't need it. We don't need it. Alright, so we're in the main cit uh, citadel area now. Which means we should be able to claim the Sigil Stone. Which would be our 17th Oblivion Gate closed, I believe. Which... I mean, let's be honest. I'm basically single-handedly saving Cyrodiil here. That's... That's not me being cocky. I... That is... Basically, what's what is happening right now? I, I'm just saying. Really? There you go. Take a dagger. One, one Modramora. Two Modramora. It's not quite as easy as, as I anticipated. Where is he? He's there. Seems to be a lot more mages in this Oblivion Gate than uh, than, than others. Where did he go? Where the hell did he go? How? What? Seriously? Where did he actually go? There he is. I was gonna say it. At one point, he was literally on on like right stood right next to me, and all of a sudden, he was just he just vanished. Absolute psychopath. You can't, you can't trust these, trust these Dramora all these days. You really can't. Right, let's grab our sigil stuff. Do we go in here? Ooh, I'll have that. Thank you. We're on 509 out of 510 carry weight now, so that's, so that's pretty, it's pretty much maxed out. The sigil stone just, just over encumbered me. Wow, I, I don't believe it. You couldn't, uh, you couldn't make it up, could you? You couldn't make it up. I think I've got another dagger to get rid of, though. I closed the Oblivion Gate outside of Coral. I should speak to the Countess about sending aid to Broom, and now that Coral is no, no longer directly threatened. I shall do that once I get rid of another dagger of mine. Good stuff. Just gonna adjust my headset, because it is killing my head. Uh... Hello. Hello. He was a very, uh, he was a very polite guy, wasn't he? Hello. What, what time is it? Oh, shit. I, I worry that I might have missed the Countess, potentially. I'm not sure. Just try and run into the castle hall to try and get, uh... Catch her before she leaves quickly. It is quite there we nice go. To see you in... Your reputation precedes you, Hera of Kavach. Hera of Kavach? Hera? Is, isn't she a Greek goddess? I will now gladly send soldiers to aid in the defense of Bruma. Consider it done. Thank you, Miss Valga. I, I, I appreciate your, um, your, your aid, and I'm sure Bruma does as well. Right, I don't think it's been long enough for us to go to the chapel. However, maybe if we sleep another day in our house, we'll maybe we'll be able to go to the chapel then, potentially. If I can actually find my house. I'm sure it's one of these ones. Arbor. Oh, this is our watch. Nice. I'll watch bedrooms. Right, so let's sleep and let's sleep uh, twelve hours. D I don't even know if this is going to be enough time, to be honest. But we'll uh, 
We'll see once we wake up. Is he is he actually going to be in the in the undercroft yet? Is this is this is the quest marker directing me to the chapel? Oh it actually is, you know. Potentially we might have waited long enough, I'm not sure. So let's just wander into the undercroft. Oh my god, he's actually there. I have administered the Languine antidote on Francois Mortier has awakened from his poison-induced sleep. I should now speak with him and make sure he's well enough to travel to the Grey Mare. Are you... Are you going to stand up, Francois? Oh, yep, yeah, there he is. Oh, I'm a bit stiff, but quite fine otherwise. Ah, yes, the Undercroft. My family members are buried here, you know. Well, luckily you're not, no. leads me to something I may have failed to mention before. My ancestors will see my revival as a desecration of their tomb. What? This undercroft is, well, quite cursed. Any desecration will cause my ancestors to rise from their graves and defend their resting place. Seriously? I can hear them coming as we speak. You must protect me. Escort me to the Grey Mare where I can buy passage out of Coral. Oh, goodness me. Oh, my. Aunt Margaret, you're looking the worse for wear. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, she really is. Right, we're, we're, we're okay. Oh god, they're everywhere. The, it's, the fucking family is all... No, don't punch him! Okay, I, th I, th I think we're safe to just get out of here. Let's, just, let's get out. Don't mind us, guys. Just a just a walking corpse escaping from the Undercroft. It's fine. It's okay. We're all good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. Let's just let's just get to the Grey Mare, and then and then we can uh, we can call it quits. I did love his speech, by the way. Oh no, a dark brother assassin. Oh no, it would be such such a shame if he if he, if he struck me down with that blade that he's carrying, that one specific blade, and not any other blade of any kind, because that would be too dangerous. Oh no, <laughs> that is that was a hell of a speech, and to be fair, it worked. It it worked. Can't fault him. From here I will be able to arrange for transportation out of Cyrodiil. You have served me well, assassin. You're very welcome. Francois is forever in your debt. Farewell. I wonder if he appears in, in Skyrim. And I will listen. Have you seen the Briants and their dogs? Odd folks, the way they dote on them. Brave deeds. Is that... Dharma is the dot... Yes, a small village south... <laughs> you too. I love how the first thing he goes and speaks about right when he gets he gets clear of uh, of, of his of his um, enforcer that that was hunting him is just to talk about a, fa a family and their dogs. Just as you do, you know, just just one of those things. All right, let's go to the Imperial City and let's go and uh, dump all of our stuff on the, onto Nilfus. Because we desperately need to make some space. Um, Nulfus. What? Why does everyone keep? Why does everyone keep saying that? Is that what people say when you commit a crime? By a chance, after you've done the, I'll try doing eighty percent of value. Can I do that? I actually can. That's that. That's very good. Can I do any more? Eighty-five. You don't expect. It's a bit too much. That's fine. How about 80, 80, 82. 82 percent. You don't expect. Uh, listen, Nilfus. Eighty-one. You're trying to drive me out of business. 
No, no, I'm not. I, I would never drive you out of business, Nolfus. You are, you are my go-to guy for, 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 for selling things. I need to, I need to sell. I need to stash, stash the thorn blade away somewhere. I don't want to sell that because it's a unique item, and I, and I, I, I do prefer to keep the unique items now, personally. They gotta be strewn around all of my houses, but you know. Uh, I'll keep I'll keep the Knights of the Thorn medallion as well. I, I'll, I'll stash that away because that's kind of a unique item in a way, not really, but in a sense it is. Right, I don't need all the poisons. I'm probably never going to use the poisons. I think the poisons are only used in, in spell making, I think. As, as far as I'm aware, anyway. Don't need feather. Don't think I'm going to need the spell. Separation, no. Don't sell the Shadow Banish Wine. I can get more for them. Resistance, no. Sea Stride, I'll keep one just in case, you never know. Paralysis, eh, I'll keep Chameleon. Disbelief, no. Uh, feather, nope. Insight, no, 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 no. You've made a good bit of gold. Thank you. Uh, that was that was definitely my intent when I when I came over here to make a good bit of gold, and I'm glad that I've managed to do that. Don't need luck. Right, that's now the these ingredients should make me a pretty hefty sum as well, and they will definitely clear a lot of the way from my inventory. And I'll keep the poison apples. You, you never know when when you're going to need need a poison apple. There are numerous situations where where a poison apple could come in useful. And we will find those situations one day, I'm sure. So much to be sold. So much to be sold. Keep the Mythic Dawn commentaries as always. Don't need the both of y'all know anymore. Uh, I think I can just give away all these keys, can't I? I think. That, that's more. Yeah, I'll I'll stash away the sigil stone too at some point. You've made a good Ruby. Drive a hard oh, the scales of pitiless justice. I remember those. Uh, I'll probably stash them away as well. Actually, I think that is everything now. So we're now on seven hundred twenty-six thousand gold. So we are edging closer to that one million mark. We got plenty of space now in my inventory too. Um. Right, I think on that note, guys, we are going to end this episode here. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed. And your pale as Casper the Ghost, so please leave me alone. Um, yeah, <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed. If you haven't, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I shall catch you all in the next episode of Oblivion. Thanks again, guys. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.